Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're making creamy spinach mashed potatoes. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and let's get into the video. Make and sing and share and cooking tutorials. Welcome, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Welcome to the Sauce Doctor. We are take over tonight. Sauce Doctor, Sauce Doctor. Welcome back to Adrian. Cooking and food review. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Shout out to Jennifer Southern Girl. Big up yourself. She requested this recipe because if you've seen my mukbang with the jerk pork and spinach mashed potatoes, you would tell that I've already tried this, but she wanted to see the recipe. So today we have some peeled potatoes. We're gonna chop them and show you what size we want them in. We have a bag of frozen spinach. We're not gonna use all that. You can use fresh spinach if you want, but I just find it really convenient to just use the frozen spinach, all right? We have some black pepper, garlic pepper seasoning, onion powder, parsley, butter, unsalted butter, real butter, mayo, and salt. So we're gonna salt our water to boil our potatoes and then if we need a little bit more salt, meanwhile we're mixing it all up, then you add some more salt. So stick around because you don't wanna miss this. And I know there was a lot of debate about if mayo belongs in mashed potato, and I'm telling you it does. So please don't forget the next time you make your mashed potato to put some mayo in there. After today, you may wanna do so. All right, so stick around because we're gonna come back and cut up our potatoes. All right, guys, so now we're gonna be cutting up our potato. First, I wanna say shout out to D-Diet for sending me this as a home, welcome home gift. Well, it's not a welcome home, but a home housewarming gift, okay? So we're gonna be cutting up our potatoes. You're gonna cut it in half and cut it in about five pieces. Finish cut these up and we'll move over to the stove. We're gonna salt our water and add our potatoes in. So stick around. Alright, guys, so you want to make sure that your water comes to a rigorous boil. You want to salt your water, make sure you have enough salt in there. Mm -hmm. Don't play around with the salt because you need those potatoes to have flavor. Alright. We're gonna go in with our potatoes. Be careful not to burn yourself. So, we're gonna cook these until they're pork tender. All right? So, we'll come right back once we think these are tender. So cook them for about 15 minutes until they're nice and tender. We'll be right back. All right guys, so now we're gonna check the tenderness of our potato. As you can see, before it goes straight through them. So we're gonna go ahead, drain our potatoes, and we're gonna transfer them to our dish. We're gonna season and smash, okay? Smash it, smash it. <laughs> All right, guys, so now we're gonna be working on our potato. So what you wanna do is wanna get a fork or a potato masher and kinda of just smash your potatoes like that. We're losing it, my counter is clean, so don't come to me. So we have half a stick of butter, room temperature. We're gonna go ahead, fold that all in. Then we got about six ounces of frozen spinach. You just wanna warm the spinach up. You don't have to saute it. If you wanna saute it to add more flavor, you can. But it's not necessary because all the seasoning and stuff you're gonna put in there and the butter and all those stuff just gonna flavor your spinach. So we're gonna combine all of this and we'll be right back, all right? All right, so our butter, our spinach, and our potatoes are all combined. It's nice and creamy. What you wanna do, you wanna start seasoning. So we're gonna go with some black pepper. You gotta put good amount of black pepper in there for sure. Some garlic pepper seasoning and onion powder. 
the parsley. Now we're gonna go in with our mayo. We didn't add more than half a stick of butter because the mayo doesn't add that extra fatness and creaminess into it. And I know a lot of you shaking in the seats right now be like, why is he putting mayo in the mashed potato? So you wanna put your mayo in and the measurement for your mayo is dependent on once it comes to that nice creaminess. So you're gonna add mayo onto your mashed potato becomes nice and creamy. Okay, so there's no real measurement to that like you're gonna put in two tablespoons, a half a cup, whatever. You're gonna add mayo until it's nice and creamy. So I think we need just a little bit more. Add that final creaminess to it. You just want to combine well. Now you see, that's the creaminess you're looking for. So we're going to finish cream this and put on a plate and show you the final product. All right, so our potatoes all nice to combine and looking delicious. There you go. So guys, I want to say thank you so much for watching. If you like the content you've been here before and you still haven't hit that subscribe button, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss a brand new upload. And as always, say, share with your friends, share with your family, share with your neighbors. Don't be selfish because they want to be a part of this fun and personality. Please don't click out the video just yet because you want to be serenaded by the one and only Silas Muffin. Thank you, thank you for today. Love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Thinking you, you